Hello, hello, it's Tash and Ro. Welcome to or welcome back to It's Saturday, your personal self-care pod where you can escape the work week and unwind with your two besties, no matter what day of the week it is, but for us, it's Saturday. <laughs> Right, we're All back. Right. We're back in the studio. Back in the studio with another smash hit <laughs> single. Back on the mic. Back on the mic. <laughs> oh, okay, man. we have exciting news, guys. I want to get to this first because yes. you probably saw us post about it already, but we have applied to be a part of the Sephora Squad. I'm so excited. So yeah, it's a year long content creation program that essentially would just allow us to like blow up the pod. Yeah. Um, meet some cool people, get some mentorship opportunities. Yeah. Do, talk about things that we love already and already talk about, but this time we'd actually be like getting paid. Getting paid. <laughs> Which is huge. Yeah. Everyone wants to get paid. Yeah. And so. I feel like we talk as like uh, like our brand and the podcast we talk a lot about beauty and yep. obviously our like audience is majority female mm -hmm. and yeah like i just feel like we're be a good fit from, yeah yeah i feel like you guys come back listen for our little tips here and there yep. so i think even we want to do like a full-on like products that we're using like episode because some people asked for that when we made like an open-ended poll asking what you guys want to hear about a lot of you responded about like our skincare routine or our makeup like hacks or routines that we do so I know. And like if you're watching our TikToks, we've been trying to like add in some makeup ones here and there. And, you know, we started the pod and we had like I think it was like the third or fourth episode. We talked about Yuka and literally that, that one blew up. That one blew up. And all of our friends now use that app. So all of our friends and beyond like that has reached so many people, like even like Anita, like her boss, like is using it like her like coworkers. Like, yeah, it's a whole movement. It's a whole you're movement. welcome, Yuka. <laughs> we should do a partnership with them. Yeah, um, but we do need your guys's help. So if you didn't already, like, please, please, please take two seconds out of your day to write a short testimonial for us. It just is to vouch for us. It's literally like one, two, max three sentences about why you would listen to us, like why we'd be a good fit for the Sephora squad. And it would just mean everything yeah. if you did that, please. And the word testimonial sounds like daunting. Yeah. It's literally, and it says like 300 words is the max. Guys, we, we don't need 300 words. Just like a sentence, like Tash and Ro post a lot and they would be great on Sephora Squad. Like it could be very simple. Yeah. It doesn't need to be like this whole paragraph. So Exactly. It's not please. intimidating. It's not scary. You are not busy enough to not be able to do this. So yeah. And we have until April 4th. So when you're listening to this, there's still some time, so please go do it. Please, please, Thank you. Please. We love Thank you. you. We love you. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> We're done it. selling our We're souls. Done. We're done. <laughs> okay. Tell me about your Zeller's visit because yeah. I need to hear about it. Okay. So we randomly decided to go to Zeller's. It was like during our lunch break. Um, it had just opened the day before, so it was still very much like in the hype. New, new. Yeah. We okay. went to the Saint Laurent one. So honestly, guys, I was pretty under underwhelming so it was only mm. like three or four aisles that they had designated to zeller so it that's was it it was maybe like i want to say like 600 square feet like the whole thing like it was super Stop small that's right yeah is and i don't know maybe the one at rito is bigger and if you guys have been to the one at rito let us know but the one at saint laurent just was like it was inside the bay you really didn't know what was part of zeller's and mm. what was part of the bay they had a few yeah. signs um they did have some stuff and the stuff was cheap so i bought one of those you know those like little spinny things for your makeup products that you put oh, on the I glass saw you acrylic me that. Yes. yeah so i got one of those i got like a little hair tie for like when you're <clears> doing <throat> your makeup and skincare and you want to put your hair back like one of the nothing crazy nothing like stood out to me as like an amazing deal it okay. was just kind of how little much trinkets was the, how much was the spinny thing it was like 20 bucks okay 20, that's, 20. that's the yeah. most i'd pay for it yeah exactly okay yeah and the little that's head sellers. thing was like three bucks and the pricing was very similar to ikea in the sense that it was all whole numbers like it wasn't like 14.99 it was like 15 dollars oh, you know okay. very like, american thing. yeah so uh, go test it out there was a food <clears throat> truck outside that had <laughs> literally the lineup yeah. for this food truck was like out the door like it was nuts Oh, wow. So we didn't go to the food truck. What the were Zellers. They serving? It Pizza was like and hot dogs <laughs> yeah. and Costco. It was like hot chicken sandwiches, like old people okay. food. Hot chicken sandwiches <laughs> and like burgers and stuff. But I don't know what they were selling. But this this lineup was insane we're like what is going on nice. here people were hungry after going through six aisles <laughs> worth of items they were starved they spent hours in that store yeah, yeah. so okay i still want to go yeah. i'm gonna go to the rita one i think um 
I really wish that like a really big space for it would open up. Like all these Same. Nordstroms or Nordstrom Max are closing. Like the one at Train Yards. Like if that was in Sellers, <gasps> that would be hype. Yeah. That, that would be really is. sick. I agree. I agree. But definitely go check it out and let us know what you think. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm searching for the deals. I'm always for yeah. the deals. You know, we love a good deal. I love a deal. We also had a really wholesome weekend event. We went to our best friend Camilla's baby shower. I feel like it was yesterday we were announcing that she was pregnant on the pod and now oh she's literally about to pop. She is like our um, reference for time, how fast time literally. goes by because this woman is birthing a child soon and I'm like, what is going on? I remember we were literally like over there in your kitchen when she told us on FaceTime. Yeah. And now she's about to give birth in like about a month, oh. less than a month. Yeah. That baby shower was so beautiful. And one of the things that she she mentioned, and I was like, man, this is so smart. So she had asked for everyone to bring her like a lot of neutral colors mm-hmm. in terms of like the things she wanted in terms of like, um, I don't know, like just change, t- clothing, like clothing, everything. towels, everything was neutral. Yeah. And we love neutral, but there's more to it. So she was like, if I ever have a boy, if I have another child and it's a boy, yeah. now I can reuse everything, which I'm like, so smart. So smart. Like yeah. neutral colors is just what the way to go. It is. It's such a vibe. Yeah. Everything was so beautiful her her aunt and her mom like decorated everything this was their like third shower (laughs) decorating for her so like everything was on point the cake a moment for the cake because valentina seeds i think it was from holy shit it was so beautiful i didn't want to eat it and it was so good too you know some of those cakes some of the most beautiful cakes don't taste good like they look beautiful but then you cut it open and it's like really dry like this Mm -hmm. cake this cake was actually really good even the icing was so good i'm usually not like it, there was a lot of icing and I was yeah. kind of like, uh, but I, I ate all the icing. Fonda. Yeah, it was so it good. Was so good. Oh, I want cake right now. I'm starving. Yeah, my <laughs> ovaries were definitely a little bit like exploding after that for sure. Not going to lie. Like all those tiny little outfits. I was like, oh my God. I just want to, yeah, I just want to dress a baby. And I was like, are you guys going to match? So, and she's like, yeah, we're going to match. Obviously they're going to match. Ugh, oh my gosh, you got so this cute. one little like bathing suit it was like a watermelon top and like a little watermelon bottom it's so cute oh, i love it it's so cute oh my god yeah oh my god and then now we're go- we're heading into <laughs> a not so wholesome weekend we have caribou yeah. cup coming up and it's not gonna be wholesome it's gonna no. be the opposite <laughs> no so yeah we're gonna go to mont tremblant what so explain for the v- people who don't know yes. what is caribou cup okay so caribou cup is this big event where if you're a skier or a snowboarder um, it's like one of the last weekends to ski and the flying mile is like the big like hill at the end of the mountain. And what they do is they have built it. So there's probably like over like maybe like 200 meters of just like water at this point. So the goal is if you sign up to do it, one, you have to wear some sort of like costume or outfit. You're not your regular ski gear. It has to be something different. Extravagant. Yeah. Like a morph suit or like, I don't know, dress up as like. Speedo. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Something like that. And you have to try to get across the body of water after skiing down the mountain i can't even normal ski like let alone <coughs> freaking it's really difficult this. and then after that they make you run through the village and take shots oh my god run all the way to caribou oh god yeah so we went last year and it was so much fun it was probably one of my favorite weekends of last year it was, it was so fun it was so, so beautiful fun. out unfortunately the weather is looking a bit rainy i know we're not we're not Fake news. We're not going to believe it. We're just going to believe that it's going to be really nice out. 100%. We're excited. We're leaving on Friday. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. Okay. And then the last little life update that we have is we actually joined a co-ed soccer team. Yes. We're soccer girlies now. We're soccer Check girlies. Check us out on the field in our cleats and our jerseys. Oh my God. So we don't just watch soccer. We don't just watch soccer FIFA anymore. We actually play soccer. Uh, yeah. We play hard. I got really inspired by watching FIFA for the first time. I thought, why not? join a team and play soccer <laughs> so i dragged romina into it and farzad and we actually have a solid team though like it's co-ed and we have a mixture of like extreme beginners a couple novice and then some like footy stars some good stars yeah, yeah. so it's gonna be good um we'll keep you guys updated on our soccer journey i'm a bit worried but we're just there for the cardio like yeah cardio and fun. post soccer hangouts yeah are always a good time <laughs> so that'll be fun it'll be from may to august and it actually goes by super fast like usually we play softball and we 
did on ultimate frisbee before so yeah. i'm down to just switch it up Woo! try something new we talk about getting out of our comfort zone like, yeah this is definitely out of my this, comfort zone this is extremely out of my comfort zone we're yeah. both gonna go buy cleats like after caribou <laughs> some cleats some cute outfits <laughs> yeah we're gonna do for the outfits <laughs> we're just there for the cute list we're, just, yeah. we're gonna distract the other players <laughs> that's our plan <laughs> and promote the pod yeah <laughs> <It's Saturday. laughs> oh my god okay let's okay. get into the i'm sorry buts yes you okay i have a few things i'm sorry about this week number one after it hailed today i'm sorry but where the fuck is spring we were literally about to record and i had to go bring my dog in because it started to hail hard and then snow and it was raining i'm like what is going on I, outside i know and when i walked stark today it was so windy i was literally getting blown away like it was, I was like, is there, I'm like PTSD from the couple of storms you've had now. So I'm like checking my phone. I'm like, is there like an, a warning about to go off? Like the wind was aggressive. Yeah. Like it's almost April this time last year, two years ago, three years ago, thanks to Snapchat memories. I know there was no snow at this time of year. And Vancouver is beautiful. Oh, Toronto is beautiful. Say, Vancouver looks beautiful. Our friends are in Vancouver and oh my God. it's like 14 degrees. Ugh, I'm jealous. I'm yeah. really jealous. It's supposed to warm up next week, but like right now I'm just not having any of this. Like it's supposed to rain and snow the next couple of days and I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm sorry, but I'm over winter weather. Give me spring sunshine Give me, immediately. Yeah. yeah. I will say though, with the um, clocks going back and like the days just getting longer, do you not find that you're more like efficient throughout the day? Cause you, the sun is just oh, out yeah. for longer and, and I just find it's lasting longer. Yeah. So it's like 7 PM and usually I'd be like, Oh, I'm kind of like winding down, but now I'm like, it's 7 PM. It's still a bright out. Like I'm still like up 100%. and at them, you know? Yeah. I love that part of it for I love sure. It. Waking up in the morning though. It's still dark this morning. Also, did you see all the fog? I was so foggy what this morning. What the F guys? Yeah. This is a huge, I'm sorry. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah. Second thing. I'm sorry, but snack sizes are just getting smaller and smaller itty like, bitty chocolate bars are getting smaller Reese's peanut butter cups like they're not the size they used to be they're smaller guys mm-hmm. I'm not getting bigger these are getting smaller <laughs> yeah. it's like, like Alice chip- in Wonderland yeah. everything is like <laughs> literally shrinking. chip bags there's like five chips in a chip bag now oh my god yeah Halloween that just brings me back to Halloween you would open those chip bags and literally it's like five chips at the bottom and half of it's yeah. just air even like the bigger ones that you get too like I find like it's just mostly air like I'm paying for air yeah and I'm just sad I want like si- snack sizes to go back to regular sizes uh, yeah no because I'm hungry I'm, I'm hungry eat. <laughs> we don't have time I'm for that I'm playing soccer now I gotta bulk up <laughs> getting extra cardio yeah yeah it's ridiculous yeah I agree with that I'm like give me the full thing give me super size like large fries <laughs> please basket please. um okay <laughs> have you tried the Spotify DJ yes oh Xavier God. Xavier X let's X. go we love X we love him so I wanted to chat about it like what you thought like how your experience was using it what you think they could do to improve it okay like wow I've only used it like once or twice I was okay. using it on the weekend I don't have any complaints like he just like was chatting with me he started off with like some new music for me he gave me some throwbacks from like 2017 Love and that. then I, I think I guess maybe I don't know how he knew if I was at the gym but he's like here's some like pump up tunes for you and I was like I don't know if that was a coincidence or if it knew I was at the gym somehow like maybe so because cool. my watch was also on I don't know, but okay. We were driving and it said it's, he was like, Oh, like here's some tunes for the highway. And we were actually on the highway when it said that. And we were like, Whoa, how does it know that? Maybe through That's location. So, maybe. But one of the things I thought was first, first of all, it pronounces every artist's name like so correctly like even persian artists wow which we were surprised by he was saying it like semi-correctly like how like normal people would say it and not like butchering the names too bad and even knowing nicknames for different artists which i thought was interesting as well so how do they even program this thing i don't really understand but it's so he's so smart he's so smart yeah um i thought one thing that would could be cool is for example like let's say you're gonna about to use the dj and you're at the gym if you could just give it a couple key words to be like at the gym pump up motivate something and then it djs for that so smart or like i'm at a party and i want like dance music yeah i want to dance and then maybe throwbacks like whatever just like some keywords some keywords to kind of help it because sometimes i find it's kind of all over the place like one time i was using it a couple days ago and it was 
I don't know, it was really slow songs and I was trying to work out and I was just like having to go next or like clicking him again to restart him. Yeah. Um, but one of the things that I noticed that you can do, so the way it works is, so for example, me and Farza share a Spotify account. Okay. And so let's say he's about to use the DJ and he's like, but I don't want Romina songs on here because I listen to some different things. Yeah. He can actually go into the playlist and say exclude for, from oh, sick. The, my okay. profile because it uses your profile to kind yes. of come up with the song. So let's yeah, say he's yeah. about to use him. He can just go onto like my specific playlist and be like, exclude this playlist from when you're okay that's good because Matt and I both also share Spotify yeah. but I don't think he's he's dabbled with the DJ yet so it's, it's cool to know. yeah it's, it's like a yeah. little we thing have very to know. different music taste I find uh, yeah so same with <laughs> us so I'm like okay well we do have the same but I have definitely some songs that he's like I don't like those yeah <laughs> vice versa 100% <laughs> yeah. yeah you're right so yeah guys if you haven't checked it out do it highly recommend Spotify yeah. DJ is really cool and definitely we'll continue using it we'll try it out this weekend too definitely For try Caribou. it out yeah. I want to see how it is in like a group setting where you're like, you need someone to DJ, but you don't, nobody wants to DJ. Yeah. Like giving that role to him. Uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Unreal. Like keep, keep, uh, keep a lookout for that. And if you don't have Spotify, what are you doing? Like, what anyway, are you doing? Like at this point you need it. Speaking of apps, like, have you been following how the U S is like going to ban TikTok? Yes. What the like, heck? It, uh, it's like, I think it's, like it's happening. happening. They're I like, know putting out like the papers and like doing crossing their eyes or crossing their t's and dotting their eyes <laughs> like doing all that shit yeah and i just feel like they're gonna lose so many creators off the app so we i was thinking about this the other day and i was like will this help canadian creators but then i'm like no it won't no, because who's gonna be who's following gonna, them? but also wh- the ads are coming from the u.s like all the products are yeah there's not that many canadian companies that are paying no. these like content 300 creators. million people in the states versus like 33 million here like yeah, it's just, no. there's no comparison but like what's gonna happen to like the alex earls and just like all like like the makeup gurus like like um meredith and like madison like who are like Charlie- huge on tiktok yeah. but not that big on like they're big on instagram but not as big not as big like that's yeah. like it's a huge platform for them i don't know i think it's i don't know it's kind of silly like i don't know like like, what are people really, like, their policies, like, whatever. Like, what is China, like, really going to use that information for, like, the average Joe American, which is, like, the ones that are on TikTok, really? I agree. And if you watch some of the interviews, like, first of all, the, the questions they were asking them. Like, the guy who was answering the the, the CEO of TikTok was just answering the questions so well. And <laughs> the guys were, like, for example, like, there was a filter that was taking your eyes like it needed to scan your eyes yeah and they were like why are you scanning their eyes and it's like because it needed to know where to put the sunglasses on your face and they're like we're really not using yeah them. we're really not it's not that deep guys it's not that deep like don't be so paranoid like i don't have anything to hide yeah. i don't know but it did start with like government worker phones which is has happened here in canada so i'm wondering if it could follow suit here where they eventually they might want us to ban it as well. I feel like they'll just follow whatever America does. Canada usually does yeah. do kind of like the similar Maybe things. in a couple of years. By then, they'll yeah. be the next app will be out. But be really sad for our 202 followers on <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> I wonder if they'll, they'll come out with a new app. Like you, the some U.S. company will just be like a TikTok Something, 2.0. Yeah, probably. I remember like literally back in the day. It must have been like four or five years ago now before the pandemic Zemir was the first person I heard talk about TikTok no way and I remember like the premise of it I was kind of like this sounds like kind of stupid it's like vine but not vine like yep. I don't really know it sounded like at the time it was just like a lot of like young kids were using it like elementary like high school kids and then it just over the pandemic it just like blew up and I just got obsessed with it and you know what Snapchat tried to do like a kind yeah. of like a TikTok variation but it didn't work it did not work it did not work yeah no 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 no. stay in your lane guys (laughs) (laughs) okay another thing i actually recently saw on tiktok and i wanted to chat about it because i think (laughs) it's so relevant with like us doing this whole sephora thing just talking about beauty yeah okay so there's a thing called the lipstick color illusion and that's pretty much like if me and tash for example took the same lipstick color and we put it on our skin, it would look like two completely different colors a lot of the times just because we're different skin tones. Sense, and these yeah. people were making TikTok videos and people were just like not believing it. This woman who was like my color skin tone and then this like lady who was like paler were like taking literally the same lipstick and it would look like purple on the girl who was my skin tone color and it would look like light pink on or like yes. a, like more of like a peachy color on the other person. And it actually blew my mind and then it made me realize 
if you're buying makeup, you need to make sure the influencers or the beauty gurus that you're following are your skin color. Yeah. Because it's not going to look like what it looks like on them. And a good example of that is I bought white eyeliner because I saw <laughs> Alex Earl put it on. And I was telling Tash about this. I bought white eyeliner. I put it on. And I was like, I look crazy. I look <laughs> like dement. I, like I looked freaky. But it's because I don't have blue eyes or like light skin. So it just it looks darker so bad. Feature, darker eyes. It was a different look. It was sure. a different I look. It didn't look bad, but it just didn't. It looked different. It looked. <laughs> yeah, it didn't look like how it was supposed to. So I got like a cream colored one yes. and it looks better. But it. yeah, it just like made me realize I'm like, man, you need to make sure like who you're following in terms of makeup, like suggestions is mm. actually kind of looks like you a little 100%, bit. hundred percent. Yeah. I, I saw that video. You sent it to me and I also was like, wait, what? I'm like, is it the same lipstick? Like, let me rewind. I'm like, oh no, that's actually the exact same one. Yeah. And even just like your lips being a different shade too, it completely alters the color of the lipstick. Yeah. That's color theory, baby. The color theory. That's wild. It's crazy. Okay. Last thing about TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Sydney Sweeney because I saw one of these TikToks of her in a garage, like, yeah so Sweeping up a car i'm like wait what? what is this real this is yeah so sydney sweeney who plays cassie in euphoria i actually knew of this about her because she was when she was doing her like press release for euphoria season two she was talking about how she's has this old bronco and she's been fixing it up and to be honest like when she was on these interviews i was like do i believe her that yeah, she's actually like, what do you mean I don't understand cars for shit. Like I was, we were talking no. about this, like <laughs> tell them about your brake like thing. And I was just like, I don't even know what the heck's going yeah, on. I have no idea. Like, like literally the light came on for my brakes and I thought it was fine. And apparently it wasn't fine. And I had to get new brake fluid and it, yeah, it's just a whole thing. Yeah. I don't understand cars. Thank so God for Matt. I, yeah, I don't understand cars. So this was seriously impressive. She created a TikTok called like Sid's garage and wow. just shows her like working in the garage, looking like super so cute. So handy. Yeah. Like, I wish I could do that. I, I barely like, I don't even know how to change the, well, no, I guess I kind of know how to change the oil now, but barely. Yeah. I barely know how to change the oil. Of like, changing the tires are actually really difficult. A lot of them I could not change a tire. It's, it's, it's a gun to my head. I'd be dead on the ground. <laughs> dead with a flat so, tire yeah i'm i'm seriously impressed um i don't know where she got this like talent from i think like she grew up family or something grew up around cars but good for her i guess to her her. never would have thought that (laughs) okay let's do a little bit of random ass shit yes um i did my first dh gate order (gasps) so i have a fucci and a frada i love how it's just like (laughs) fucci frada what would mine be fly us all fly us all Fly us out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just F in front of everything. I'm yeah. excited to see what it looks like. Me too. I hope it's oh, good. Yeah. I want to ask you, is it normal? I got a message after on WhatsApp from like one of them being like, hey, like, thanks for your purchase. Like, it's goods are already on their way. Like, give me feedback and I'll give you $5 off your next like purchase. I don't know because I didn't actually order mine. True. I, 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 I'll, sister, I'll ask brother's Mickey. girlfriend. That's so funny though. Like, yeah. Just your personal little shopper. I know. I'm like, oh, I guess I did put my number in there. And like WhatsApp is like, so, it's obviously the thing in Asia because it's all like Samsung. No one really has iPhones. So I'm like, okay, I guess this is legit that they're messaging me. Okay. But I'm excited. So it's going to arrive like anywhere between like end of April to, um, beginning of may so you have it for the summer and you're good to go honestly i'm i'm excited we'll do like a little review i've been loving mine and it's actually good quality like it's not trash so good like the picture you posted yesterday at dinner with your mom i'm like oh my god you wouldn't know you You wouldn't know know. and unless you listen to the pod like all of it like looks and feels so good yeah i'm really excited for you to get it you also got a new uh, apple watch yes okay so we were talking about um how they were like no longer trendy so i was like you know what maybe i should like at least just change my band to like a nicer band because i've been rocking the like rubber Same. one that it comes with and then i took it off and i was like this is actually like pretty dirty it's because so i had it for like two years and i've never changed that one and my old watch that was black i changed it all the time but because this is rose gold i just haven't but i got this like actually like it's cute beautiful fancy, like leather one and now i just feel like it's more cool it's more cool so please <laughs> it can you... looks better like to yeah. be fair like the rubber one i was kind of like i need okay. to change mine too I know. yeah like, well with, um it's just a white one someone had a really nice band at the yes at the, at the baby, baby shower, shower. yeah Christina, Christina. she watches. had like this like it looked like a what are they called like the link ones yeah it was, it like, was gold. gold and linky she actually sent us the link 
for the links <laughs> and i'm that's my gonna be my next purchase i love it i love it yeah i definitely need to change mine mm-hmm. um okay another like little thing was we actually almost filled up our google note that which i didn't even know that you can do yeah that. our keep note our keep note for many. the pod it literally keeps giving us a thing saying you're almost at capacity. Everything we write, we have like a countdown. Like right now we have 92 list items left to write. So I wonder what like the total amount of list items you have. Because you've had this since August. Yeah. That's a lot of lists. A lot of things. I can't believe it's going to be a year in August for the pod. I know. It's insane. What the heck? What the heck? Yeah, no, but, we're not going to delete any of these. We're going to just make a new one because it's so fun to go through all this shit and like see all the stuff that we've talked about. Yeah, and I was actually went back and watched like a really old episode of our podcast Aww. while I was getting ready. And it's so nice because it's just like listening to our stories and memories. It's like a little time capsule. It's so true. Yeah, it's literally a, our Aww. modern day time capsule we have videos from matt and then audiobooks from us <laughs> <laughs> listen what a here solid folks combo. we're gonna like listen to this forever i know send it to our kids but then it's like don't listen to send it but don't yeah. maybe after. skips full send syndrome maybe go to yeah. the next one. Go to health and wellness and that's all you're gonna get <laughs> Okay, tell me about this four-day work week or school week. What is this? Oh, my gosh. Can I go to these schools, please? So there's two schools in Ottawa that are adapting uh, a four-day school week that parents can opt into. And it sounds insane. And it's not – the kids aren't missing out on any more school than a regular five-day school week because the school would actually start a week earlier than other schools, and then it would end three days later. And it would be 38 minutes longer per day. Okay. But I mean... Then you have a full day, though. Are you kidding? Like, are you kidding? sign everybody up for that. That sounds so amazing. Like, most teachers stay long or come early, like, anyway. So, like, an extra 38 minutes. What? So then I'm done at, like, 3.45. Honestly, that's, perfect. that's, that's amazing. Yeah. So they're going to pilot it out at these two schools. There's one in Canada and one in Orleans. So okay. So probably right around here. And I'm interested to see how many parents are going to want to try and do this because I feel like if people are working from home and their schedules are flexible, they're probably thinking, well, maybe like why not have that extra day with the kid? Maybe like go on like a trip on the weekend somewhere or if they have a cottage. Like I know Matt's parents like growing up, they were going skiing on the weekend. So if they had that extra day to go skiing. Oh, my God. And just spend time like together or just like learning other skills or hobbies. I could see it being uh, difficult for people who are paying for like daycare or they aren't at, what like at home. Maybe that like extra mm-hmm. day is a little bit difficult. But if you're at home and you have flexible work, like I would love that. I would love to have like an extra day with my kid just at home. 100% like it's just is gonna like give that opportunity to have a better like work school life balance yeah and if you're able to do it great opt into it and if not then don't and can I please be one of the teachers that <laughs> gets to opt into that because 100% sounds amazing and then if they and then if the parent also has a four-day work week because now a lot of places are introducing four-day work weeks then that's amazing then it's just you get honestly because if you think about how much we work in a day and how much free time we have every day it's so minimal that it's it's like what are we living for exactly what are we living for and then also like it just will do better for things like maybe like for attendance they think it will help with that for staff and for students you know because that way a lot of people will be able to just make appointments on that extra day instead of having to miss like a full day of school that way you know either on friday or monday whatever day they decide to do it that would be like kind of an appointment day as well oh my god that's so smart yeah or they're like sporting activities sporting activities if they're sick if they need to like recover i know like literally when i'm starting to get sick it's like i need to either take the monday or the friday off or i'm not going to get better if i take off a wednesday and then i'm going right back to work i'm not going to get better you're not going to get better i need to like figure that shit out yeah so we'll see how that goes um I think it's brilliant. I think might switch schools. <laughs> yeah, no, it's in the it's in the French Catholic board, so it's not even my school board, Ugh. unfortunately. But hopefully, they get raving reviews, and then in the next couple of years, who knows? Yeah, I think we're going in as a society. We're heading towards the direction of like more balance and school life and work life. And everything because life's short and by the time you go to retire to enjoy your life, you're like old and you don't have like mobility and you can't like enjoy it. Literally. It. So, I know. Like why working are we... to live, living to work. Exactly. It's just, what are we doing? What are we doing? Truly. Yeah. Okay, let's do a little showtime. So yeah. new season is out of one of your favorite shows. So Succession, we just started watching. We're already on season two. 
and it's really good. It's it's funny. It's it, it keeps you on your toes. The family's hilarious, and there's a new season, and it's actually the last season. It's season oh. four, just got released, so it's on. It's airing this right is now. The last final season. Fa- final season, which is kind of nice. I like when a show yeah is kind of like instead of doing like eight or nine seasons and it gets really shitty towards mm-hmm. the end, they kind of wrap it up nicely. Yeah, like Grey's Anatomy did not need to be oh. nineteen seasons long. No. Sorry, no. no. Yeah, I respect and appreciate that. Matt will not watch Succession. Why? He's like, says that he's tried it out before. I didn't really like it. Like, it's just like, kind of just like dark. Like, it's kind of whatever. So we thought that too. And to be honest, I had to convince Farza to watch it because he's like, no, it gives me anxiety. I don't like it. I don't like it. And after the first, like, I would say, and, and this is, I hate when people are like, just get through the first season. Because you're like, just Why? commit eight hours of your life and yeah. it's going to be fine. But read the first 80% of a book and then the back <laughs> half is fine. Just like the book we're reading yeah. now, I'm like, I'm still waiting for something to happen. <laughs> Nothing has happened yet. Um, but trust <sighs> me, then it like towards the end of the first season, it gets really good. And then season two has been really okay. good so far. You know what? I might just have to watch it by myself. Yeah. Or watch. just watch it and then he'll like, he'll yeah. be, when he's around, but he's like on his phone or something, just like put it on. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on. Just, I really want to watch it. Like I've I've heard great things from so many people recently. I'm like I have to watch this show. Yeah, and especially with like all of our other shows have kind of like ended, and we're waiting for something else to pick up. Like I need a show. Need a show. Yeah. yeah. Speaking I of recommend. that, White Lotus season three announced their destination. Do you know where it is? <gasps> no, I don't know. Okay, guess. Okay, so I th- I thought that they said maybe Maldives. I know I thought that too, but it is no? not. Mm-mm. Okay. Um, I is yeah, it like more, more resort? Is it like a resort kind of place? um is it well there's resorts in this country for sure yeah okay like thailand maybe yes <gasps> no yes i wow. swear i didn't know i swear i didn't know i didn't write it in the notes for that reason yeah oh my god so. i just like like randomly that was, was like your a- wordle moment where you got on the first try <laughs> no i was just thinking maldives and then i'm like okay you said there are resorts there i don't know why i just thought of thailand i really yes no it's gonna be thailand which i think will be sick because like i've i've traveled thailand and like crazy shit can happen in thailand so i can't even imagine what, like what kind of weird oh fun stuff they're gonna put into but, this season and like or where they're gonna stay and i'm so excited uh, i'm so excited and if now last of us is over so i'm like we need we need something we need our sunday hbo show yeah. to be back so What's it gonna be? hurry up and euphoria where are you what's where happening? are you they better be filming two seasons and that's why it's taking so long because we went all of last year oh no it's been over a year it came out last year in january right yeah, yeah. So yep. it's been over a year now. Zendaya, what are you doing? What are we doing? I need to, yeah, we need to get on that. Um, okay, let's talk about some restaurants because I recently went into mm. a couple new restaurants and I wanted to just chat about a them. Nice restaurant. That bathroom was stunning. Yeah. So the, I don't know if anyone's been there, but Chop Steakhouse. It's like near Hunt Club. It's kind of in a random place, but Chop Steakhouse is actually so good. It gives me like Joey vibes on Ooh, the inside. Okay. There's a happy hour from like four from like three to six, I think. Okay. And the menu is amazing. They it's it's on the pricier side. Like if you're going on like a date night, I would suggest going there. But not ridiculously priced where you're like, this is this is too much. Um obviously steak's expensive. So like if you're going to the keg, if you're going anywhere, it's gonna yeah. be expensive. If you're going to a steakhouse, yeah. like you should expect to be paying a decent amount because it Exactly. Yeah. And as soon as we got there, like my mom had been there before, but we sat down. Our server was really nice. And she's like, have you been here before? And I was like, no, but my mom has. They came and brought us an appetizer and they're like a welcome, like, hello, because you've never been here before. I was like, wow, this is super nice. Is it a big spot or it's it's pretty big? Like they have a lounge section and then um, kind of like a bar kind of Ooh. section too so it's like two two sections i honestly thought you were at moxie's like based it, on your photo it gives moxie's vibes yeah. yeah moxie joey vibe like that kind of that kind mm. of atmosphere highly recommend it um the bathroom's amazing brought me back to like our i don't know yes. what episode that was like one of the our aesthetic. first ones the aesthetic of the bathroom yes. if it doesn't match the vibe of the place like that's a red flag and yeah. this place the aesthetic of the bathroom was immaculate yeah so. it understood the assignment it had yeah. such cool wallpaper like nice like gold like faucets and just like everything was just it was so stunning pristine. it was gorgeous yeah and then the other place i went to and this was when my dad was here and i forgot to talk about it last time was it's il il vicolo so vicolo. it's like this literally like this little hole in the wall in, on clarence and okay. it's the old um the chef that worked at victoria trattoria the place that oh, burnt love down victoria trattoria we go there a lot yeah so like the one that downtown that burnt down yeah 
the chef that of that place <clears throat> opened up a place with one of the bartenders that worked at Victoria Jatori. They opened up like a place together and it's this place and it's it's like really small. Like there's only I think like six tables or something. Oh, like I love that kind of stuff. It's spot, really though. small. Yeah. Um, but their pizza was in- insane because it's like the, literally the same chef from Victoria Tutorial. So they have like a wood oven pizzas and it was just like a cute little spot. Um, You've been eating good. And they had like this little kind of um, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it was like kind of like a club that you can rent out with your friends. And then you spend a, a certain club? amount, like a little mini club. Yeah. Cool. It was like a, on the side. It was really random. But the guy's like, yeah, if you come here and you want to like have a, they do like, like parties and reservations for like. I don't know, reunions for high school. They had like a high school reunion there. Um, and yeah, if, if you're ever looking for like a large party space, Il Vicolo. That's your little spot. Little Italian spot. food is the best. It's so good. Oh God, what did you get to eat when you were there? Oh, at, at the place I got a pizza. It was like, I think it was like um, uh, just a margarita pizza. And then mm. they had this other one with like sausage and like burrata. It was like <gasps> so good. So good. So, so good. Yeah. So definitely go on Clarence. Okay. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about, about like restaurants is like, if you go to a place and then we just recently went to like a place and like they give you a menu and it's like this big, like it's massive. (laughs) I just have a theory now where it's like the larger the menu, the worse the quality is on each of the items. I a hundred percent agree. Because sometimes you're like, whoa, what is this menu? It's literally the size of a newspaper. They have like all different kinds. They have like Asian, yeah. like Italian, like all this stuff. Meanwhile, it's like Boston pizza. And you're like, wait, what? what? Yeah. Like, why are you guys pizza. selling sushi? But then also Parmigiana, yeah. like another spot like that. KS on the KS yeah. on the keys. Their menu is like 17 pounds. It takes me 30 minutes to like get through it. I feel like I'm reading a short novel. <gasps> no quality is all right. I feel like places like Kelsey's Montana's like they all have those thick ass menus thick menus there's too many items you're like what do I pick from yeah the larger the menu the worse the food yeah man I love places where it's like very small menu a few selective items because then you know like they're doing it right and they're putting in the time and the effort and like premium ingredients and that's just the way to do it I agree honestly I agree Mm -hmm. love that now I'm hungry I'm hungry too (laughs) if you hear our tummies rumble because we have really good microphones yeah okay so let's talk some tabloid talk because a lot has happened this week a lot has went on okay so let's just quickly talk about the Selena and Haley drama obviously I'm sure most of you saw like Selena like spoke out about it both of them did but first like Selena went on being like hey guys like Haley Bieber like reached out to me like she's getting death threats like the internet is not like supposed to be this way like please stop thanks bye like, yeah very, and then, like short and sweet yeah and then Haley wrote like a novel almost Long like pretty time. much saying the that. same thing <laughs> yeah I just it's funny to me because I think like Selena has just been posting a lot more on Instagram recently yeah. like she's always popping up now I don't know if it's just because we're of like we're following this or yeah. something but she's been popping up a lot and she's releasing all these new products i know and wasn't she like taking a break though for a second before it was like, like a five second um, break a month ago she's like i'm taking a break and then she's like just kidding i'm back i'm, better I'm back ever. with 500 like 400 million followers which is so insane. wild can I, I would not want that to i don't honest. even i can't even imagine 400 million people like that's yeah. insane so we'll see if the haters stop hating i feel like the internet yeah. has like stopped spiraling a little bit the conspiracy theories have like started to go down a little bit except for now i think like with the whole kardashians it's funny because it's it's kylie jenner who started this whole thing but it's just become a Haley bieber and selena problem yeah. but kylie jenner just recently introduced kylie cosmetics as having mascara like they released a mascara and no one cares like yeah i'm like mm, all of that. the comments are like we don't care we're over it rare beauty and Ooh. yeah, I, I'm curious to know about the Kylie Cosmetics sales. If anyone works, uh, maybe we, we can ask our, some of our friends at Shopify. But I just want to know whether or not like the sales of Kylie yeah, Cosmetics gone has down. gone down. And I wonder if Rhodes <laughs> has gone down too. She just launched in Canada or is she launching? Yeah, she's yeah, launching. I yeah. wonder how that will go. Yeah, I'm curious to know about that. But yeah, it's it's crazy when something like that can transfer over to like your businesses yes and that's scary yeah it's not a good time for kylie and the whole kardashian family it's really not of. but this e- okay wait can we just rewind actually because the season three trailer yep went out it looks I, i'm intrigued i feel like nothing happened but everything happened at the same time i was just gonna say it just and it was one one scene was kendall like i'm just trying to protect my peace i'm like oh okay 
Yeah. Why up. are you still on the show? You should just leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel God. like shit's gonna go down. I don't know what because it was super vague, but I mean, I'm intrigued and I'm gonna be watching. I'm it gonna be watching for it. Sure. Yeah. Um. Also, back to Selena, Zayn, and Selena. Like, what is that real? <sighs> I don't think that's real. I don't know if it's real, but where the hell? Okay, it was off of one girl who sent a text message to her friend. Do you think that maybe Haley planted this? Like Haley's PR team was like, guys, how can we ruin her? I don't know. I don't seems, know. It just seems like there's no picture proof. It's from one person saying that they saw them yeah. at a restaurant. Two people spiral out of control. I have yeah. no idea. If they are dating though, I'm sure they're going to like keep it even extra super secret now. So we probably will not find out if they are. Yeah. And I find it weird though because Gigi and Selena are friends. And I know X and they have a baby together like Gigi and Zane have a baby and he has like a history of like violence violence mental illness and like her mental illness I just don't know if those two yeah personalities they would be very colliding for sure it's like two unstable people to, I don't I don't know if it's gonna work I don't know I, don't I used know. to think Zane was like so attractive and then when all that like shit went down with him and like it allegedly like pushing Yolanda and shit I was like wait what no not I a just, vibe not don't a vibe. do that don't no. touch ladies don't touch anyone keep your hands to yourself i teach that at a very young age <laughs> keep your hands and feet to yourself guys 100 percent. okay last thing though that's pretty juicy emrata and harry that i believe that one i believe because i saw them putting their tongues, tongues down each other's giving throats. each other a strep throat <laughs> inspection with their tongues everything she does i feel like is like she called up the paparazzi everything that i see her in recently with the pete davidson and now that this. looked way more staged though this didn't look staged to me this okay looked like legit paparazzi to me i felt okay yeah i don't know what, why would you just be making out on your car like maybe they were drunk i don't, I don't know. know also she's just like all over the place she's I'm all happy over the place. for her yeah she's she's in a very toxic marriage so make out with whoever you want do you think harry styles is hot he's good looking he's just not my type yeah of guy I feel like Tom Sandoval, when he performs, he tries to be like Harry Styles, like in the things that he wears, but he's just like the dollar store version of him. He's disgusting. And you know what's funny is I've, I'm re-watching Vanderpump. Yes. We both are. Oh, and it's just it's funny so to like watch them and I'm like, ugh, look at all the red flags. So many. Like, like the beginning of season two, it's like Tom cheated on Kristen with some girl in Vegas. It's like, what? Like, Yeah, they're all cesspool cheating it's yeah. insane yeah it's, it's wild it's funny that in one of the episodes they were at carrie um carrie richard's house or who's no, carrie carrie, richard? no sorry who's um denise richard no who's, no sorry who's the girl who's um mauricio's wife Oh, Kyle Richards. Kyle Richards. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Richards. Kyle, uh, Kyle Richards' house. And, like, Yolanda was also there. And it's just funny to, like, see them. All like, their all worlds, the, like, all intertwined. The worlds. Yeah. I know. It's All insane. the Bravo, like, people just, like, all in the room. Like, this is so funny. So weird. Yeah, so weird. But, but yeah, Emrod and Harry keep making out. I want to see more pictures of it. Same. I feel like she's way taller than him. Not that that matters, but we love a short king but <laughs> okay let's get our health and wellness on oh my god okay so you guys know that i'm like obsessed with turmeric if you've watched me make my little ginger turmeric shots Yum. they do know i'm so obsessed i you. love i love turmeric um but actually there was i was listening to a podcast i forget which one but the guy was talking about he was a doctor and he was talking about how there's been so much research showing obviously that turmeric is an anti-inflammatory and it's really healthy blah 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 but also that there's these regions in india these small communities that are known to obviously use a lot of ginger in their everyday cooking but also drink ginger uh turmeric sorry not ginger turmeric in ginger's their ginger's good too though yeah ginger's <laughs> really good too turmeric in their everyday cooking but then also mm. drink like a turmeric kind of like drink. fermented oh. dr drink they like it's like in their staple they drink it all the time and that those regions have like the lowest rate of alzheimer's and so now they're studying that those wow. populations in India to understand the link between um, turmeric and Alzheimer's because obviously Alzheimer's um, is linked to like infl inflammation and things like that. Yeah. And so if turmeric can reduce inflammation, then maybe it's it can be that. it can help with Alzheimer's. So yeah, I read this book once. that was called Genius Foods, and turmeric was one of the like items that was on there. Like blueberries are really good for your brain. Like avocados, dark chocolate. Yeah. Like all these things have like anti-inflammatory purposes. Yeah. So it's like 
and the author of that he wrote this book because his mom was diagnosed with like alzheimer's dementia kind of thing and she was quite young so then he was just like looking back into her diet and all these different foods so what you eat is so important for like your your mind your gut your body your soul yeah throw a little turmeric on everything <laughs> turmeric and just remember whenever you use turmeric use black pepper because yeah it helps with the absorption like by like a hundred fold like it's insane so without black pepper like you're not getting the full, the full effect benefit. of yes. yeah of i didn't know that until you told me yeah so, so i just, don't even know if i've ever really been benefiting from it until like a month ago <laughs> do you think that there's different qualities of it like if you buy it at just like the the grocery store like yeah. the powdered version do you think it, that's fine like yeah i think it's fine okay. um definitely like the color the needs to be like really like potent yeah. orangey yellow yeah um if you can find turmeric from like india or like more asian regions yeah. like iran it's more, legit. it's more legit than yeah i would say um fresh turmeric is cool too like they actually sell it but you have to be careful because it stains your hands oh my god it really yeah. does it stains a lot of things yeah <laughs> yeah Tell me um, about lounge seats. Is this at work again with your oh, massage Oh, seats? my God. No, that's something different. Oh. oh, my God. That is... I should actually put that on there. I have a massage chair at work. And literally, guys, every day at the same time, I go in the massage chair for like eight to ten minutes. And it does it... Like, it puts your arms in it. It puts your legs oh. in it. And I get like this full body experience. And it's the highlight of my day. I love that. Everybody that has to go into the office deserves a little massage chair. I agree. But no, I wrote lounge sets because oh, lounge sets. Okay. I just, whenever I'm like doing like my, my skincare routine or just like chilling out at home, I just feel so much better when I'm in like a cute lounge set. I love lounge sets. And I, I know. just like, I didn't really purchase like a cute matching lounge set until like the last like year or two. And I just feel like it just elevates my health and wellness. So I just wanted to spread that out to the girlies, the boys, just yep. get a little lounge set because... And also just like look cute even if you're in your home, but comfortable. You 100%. Know? Like I work from home, but I like right when the pandemic started, one of the things I definitely helped me working from home was actually getting dressed for the day and not yes. just being like in your like pajamas. Like I don't, I don't wear jeans in the house, but oh I, God, I, no, never. I can't, I could never wear jeans in the house, but I do wear like kind of like joggers or like sporty, mm -hmm. like leggings. Like I don't just wear what I wore to bed and I no. find it really helps. You like when I change, you have to change. Yeah. I could never get out of bed and like I have to change almost immediately. Me too. Yeah. Like I feel really weird. Like, me too. Being in my like, I just wear like a baggy t-shirt to bed, but I would feel weird wearing that like after sleeping in it all night, you know? Same. I'm yeah. Same. Also, I want to talk about facials because I've never, I've only gotten a professional facial once and one of my coworkers was going to get a hydrofacial today and we need to go and get one. Hydrofacials. I want to try like, it. I want to yeah. try it so bad. They also do like extractions. It's like an hour long on your face and like we're so on our skincare game. Like we need to just treat ourselves once twice a year and get some facials i also want to try like the laser ones they have like laser yeah. facials and I all these do things micro needling Ooh. but your face gets really really red after um and it but it like helps support like collagen and like increase collagen production in your face but you have to time it out because you're gonna look kind of scary the next day what is that the same thing as like <coughs> the vampire is that the vampire facial no vampire facial is the one that they actually take your like plasma they can do that and yeah. like put it in mm -hmm. oh my god like that's oh Cre creepy and scary but also i'm like i'm down for it <laughs> anything to make me look young i'm like okay i'm down i'm yeah. gonna spend the money on my face yeah 100 percent. also so last thing for health and wellness i've been drinking a lot of green tea lately oh, i love green tea i don't love the taste of it okay what do i do to make it taste better um <laughs> add maybe some honey yeah it just tastes so like earthy to me but i really want to drink it because it's so good for you i know maybe make it iced tea out of it you can maybe like green tea iced tea or you know what um i found this green tea and I'll, i can send it to you after it's like a peach like mm. peach green tea okay that sounds yummy and like i make like iced tea in the summer with it you just like put it over some ice and add some like sweetener to it and then drink it like that do okay. you like matcha though like do you like the i taste just of it? bought some mat matcha and i need to i haven't made it yet i just bought it like recently at the asian grocer but I'm really excited to try it. It's yeah, that's all. That's also like <laughs> you have to come like I don't know the the taste of it's a little it's acquired. It's acquired. Yeah, at first I was like, what the frig is this? But now you kind of like I kind of like it. You have to kind of yeah ease I want, your way. I want to be it. matcha girly. It looks so good. Yeah, it looks so good, and like the green, it looks so pretty. But apparently, like there's 
like you i'm glad you went to tnt to get your matcha because apparently a lot of the matcha that they sell in stores isn't real matcha like it's like it's artificial matcha and they just add green coloring to it to make it look like it's real so you have to like do your research and find like actual legit matcha from okay yeah asia yeah Okay, we're going to end with a bang, Mary Kill, and I think this one's going to be really freaking hard for you. Oh my God, I'm scared. Okay. Bang, Mary Kill, music, podcasts, books. Uh, I don't even know what I would do. That's insane. <laughs> oh my God. You're okay. a lover of all three. I love... Ugh, God, you can't that's kill different. the pod, bro. No, you can't. I can't, can't kill, kill the, the pod. pod. Of course not. Okay, I think I'm going to marry music just because mm-hmm. I feel like life without music would be sad. So sad. Yeah, so sad. I listen and, to music every single day. Yeah. I'm going to uh, obviously um, bang podcasts because hello. 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 We're a good time. And I'll probably kill books because if I have podcasts, then I have some sort of... I feel like oh, podcast could, is kind of like an audiobook, yeah, in a way, or you can still learn a lot from podcasts. So, do you really need the books? And mm. right now, I'm really pissed off at the book we're reading because nothing's so happening. I'm so annoyed at Carrie Soto. Carrie Soto, I think I'm like 60. So I, I'm honestly, I'm finding it hard to pick it up because I, like, yeah, I'm not interested. Mine's in like it. just don't finish it. I'm like I have, have to, to finish, finish it. it, and I need to make my goal of one book a, a month. month. So I need to go home and read this book after <laughs> the podcast, even though I don't want to. <gasps> I know. I'm, but actually, I'm like 80 percent done now. Okay. How far are you? I'm like 67. Okay. A, something. As more has happened. Okay. Her dad like went to the hospital and I was like, oh my God, is that the first thing? (laughs) That was really the first thing. I was like, first her racket broke and then her dad fucking had a heart attack. And then, yeah, it gets, it gets a little I will say though, I'm so dumb. I was like, oh guys, it's in Portuguese. (laughs) It's in Spanish. You made me feel so self-conscious. I was like, I thought it was Spanish. You know what's so funny though too? Because like the first day I'm like, oh, it's just from Buenos Aires. And I was like, oh, so Portuguese. And then in my head, I was like, Brazil portuguese but i'm like no that's not correct (laughs) brazilians don't like they know so anyway guys it's spanish i was completely wrong very similar languages though because i was going to translate (laughs) just to see like what's the difference between spanish and portuguese in terms of a lot of the and a lot of the things would translate almost the exact same so i believe it it's pretty cool that's so funny yeah so if you're thinking of reading a book i would not recommend (laughs) Karen soto yeah pick another book pick another book verity Really, that's read that. my next one read it after like yeah read it after this because you won't be able to put it down it's so good it's I so so good wait. yeah okay guys okay. thanks for hanging out with us I that was you. a fun time well, don't forget to write a few sentences for us for sephora squad pretty please yeah and if you do it let us know so then we can give you some big hugs and kisses kisses and yeah i can't wait to tell you guys about caribou cup oh my and, god and um hopefully tiktok doesn't get banned but if whatever go follow us anyway because we post some funny stuff hell yeah brother hell yeah so yeah, have a good Saturday and a week and yes. we love you. Catch you next week. Bye. Bye.